Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to commentate from this venue. A warm welcome to North London. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against West Ham United. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Real pleasure to be here. Looking forward to this game. Players will be a bit nervous. I was always nervous at the start of games. It's important you get your first pass off to your colleague. Maybe get a good tackle in. Settle the nerves down. Looking forward to a good game here. Sissoko, number 27, Lucas. Number 10, Harry Kane. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Jung Min Son plays with Lucas on the flanks. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Issa Jock plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Underway here at the home of Tottenham Hotspur. Harry Kane. Here's Ndombele. Kane. And he read it superbly. Antonio, fruitful looking attack. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better and better. Hyung Min Son. What do you expect to see from him today, Lee? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look but what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. Oh, a nice-looking pass. Pablo Fornals. Rebier. Davinson Sanchez on the ball, Reguilon. Hoybier. Now Sizoko. Lucas. Extremely sloppy in possession. Read it magnificently and intercepted. Lucas. Harry Kane slips it through. The end product just wasn't there. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here's the goal again. And he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? Had his pocket picked, rightly punished. Schoolboy stuff. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. For Niles. 
Well, just couldn't keep the ball. It did look on for them, but not to be. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Fabier. Aaron Cresswell. Rice with it. Antonio. Pablo Fornals with it. Antonio. And an astute piece of defending. Harry Kane. Declan Rice. 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 Teammate in support. Given the position he was in, he's not going to be especially pleased with himself. Well, he took the chance with power. Not always the best option. Unable to keep the ball. Sanchez. Ndombele. Now Harry Kane. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Can he put it in? And that is defending of the highest order. Masuaku. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Antonio. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Antonio. Antonio, for Niles. For Niles. Antonio. And Spurs have the ball once more. Antonio. Antonio. Rice. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Of Bonner. West Ham have had the lion's share of possession, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Harry Kane. And Fabier with it. They have space here, Tottenham, in an attacking sense. Reguilon. Kane. They might be through here. An opportunity to increase their advantage squanderedly. Well, yeah, he's missed it, and he's missed it really badly. Look at his teammates. They're not very happy with him. Oh, he knows that could have been the game right there. You can see his frustration as well. For Niles. Kane. Oh, good vision. Son. Now Harry Kane. 
very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Sissoko. And Hoybier with it. Now Sissoko. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, you're right. He has played well and goals win games. He's been a joy to watch in this form. anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Declan Rice Cresswell with it Rice for Niles on the ball Masuaku ball with Pablo for Niles Declan Rice and it's with Tomasz Suchek Rice with it on the ball Diop Ogbonna and it's with Tomasz Suchek well they want that equaliser but the passing remains smooth Suchek And he's taken it away. Well, Tottenham are struggling in terms of possession, but on the break, they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Fabia. And can they prize them open now? Lucas Moura. Not sufficiently accurate, that pass from Lucas. Sebastian Allaire. Plenty of options. Suchek. In possession, Bowen. Harry Kane. Sizoko. Sissoko now Sissoko Kane Sissoko here's Kane and Hoybier with it Sissoko Hoybier Ndombele and Hoybier with it. Kane. Can't miss, surely. And the ball is loose. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Not the pass he had in mind. And Kane comes into the move. Good looking attack, this. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Declan Rice. Ogbonna 
Sebastian Allaire. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Harry Kane. Ndombele. Well, they keep the ball moving. Son. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Well, they have the free kick on the target, but the goalkeeper there. Well, the wall's there to protect half of the goal. Goalkeeper's got to protect the other. He did a brilliant job there. And over comes the corner. What a vital intervention. And now the delivery. Just couldn't capitalise there. Winks. On the ball, Reguilon. Sissoko in position. Using his physical strength to shield it. Fabier. Sissoko. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, let's take a look at this replay. The difference between a good player and some of the best players is they don't need to take a touch. Gets his shot away. First time. Nothing else matters but concentrating on that ball. Well, all the day's frustrations are there for all to see. The coach needs to try and turn this around and quickly. Well, a second goal for them here. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Lanzini. And here's Ogbonna. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Suchek. Isa Diop. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Could pull one back here. Harry Kane. Only 10 minutes remaining here. And Kane saw his pass intercepted. Well, he likes to run at them. Well, they have it again. It's a good looking ball in behind. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it.
Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek. He's not happy. Just look at him. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Lanzini. Pablo Fornals with it. Sebastian Allaire. Lanzini. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Pabier. Now Sissoko. Winks. Kane. And it's Winks. On the ball, Reguilon. Harry Kane losing out in that little battle. The attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Vladimir Kuval in possession. Bowen. Suchek. Aller. And there goes the final whistle. The overall story is a happy one for Tottenham because they get the three points lead. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressive up front. Their forwards really hit form today. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance. Ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10.